Hey everyone, Carl Larson here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to properly wrap a cable. Knowing how to wrap a cable properly doesn't apply to just one kind of cable. You can do this for any kind of cable. I actually even do this with my garden hose. Let's get right into this. So the first thing you'll notice is this is a properly wrapped cable. So the coils are all the right size and the stack builds from the bottom to the top. I'll just lay it down here and maybe more easily see that the connector starts on the bottom, ends on the top, and all the coils stack on top of each other here. So as the coil is built, it goes from one side to the other. And that's the first thing you need to know if you pick up a properly wrapped cable is that you wanna make sure that you're paying out the cable from the side to which it was wrapped. So if you start with both connectors on the same side, you need to look at it and go, okay, where is that connector come from? It's that side of the stack. Okay, now I can open it up. The most important thing about this cable wrapping technique, the over under technique, is that there's no twists in this cable. One loop goes to the left, one loop goes to the right. And then overall, there's a net twist of zero. So positive, negative, over, under, left, right. And we just do that in succession until the whole cable is wrapped up. So let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna drop the cable over the end of the table here, and we'll start with just one connector. You can go either way. It doesn't really matter. I'll just start this way. And so we're just gonna start with a, a regular loop here. So a regular coil, just a regular circle. So that's one loop. Now the next loop, that's our over. We're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it and go under. You see how the cable is underneath. Okay, so make, this, make sure this is nice and circled. So I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna flip it and go underneath. Is that twist happening there? Underneath. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that they're the same size. So over and then under. All right, now I'm gonna do this with smaller coils this time and showing you how to do it with a video cable. So I'm gonna just start with a small just a regular coil, I'm just bringing it together there. And then I'm gonna flip my hand over and pull it in underneath. So now I have an over coil right here and an under coil right here. So I'm gonna do that again. So over, make sure that the loops are the same size and under. So I'll do over and I'm gonna flip my hand and pull it underneath and I've got an over under. Now with the end here, you can just do one more loop and put it all together. And now I've got a properly wrapped SDI cable. So if there's a right way to wrap a cable, there's also a wrong way. Let me show you the wrong way and what's wrong with it. So never ever do this. If you see someone doing this, just stop. Just please stop. You're hurting your cable, you're hurting yourself. Don't do that. Why does, why does that hurt? Because, oh, I don't even like doing that because you're, you're pulling on the cable as you're wrapping it. So there's all sorts of little connectors, little fibers, pieces of copper, right, inside the cable. The last thing you wanna do is put it under tension, okay? It's just like, it's just like yanking on the cable like this as you're trying to coil it. You don't wanna do that. You wanna put it not under tension, just open coil, under coil, open coil, under coil. <laughs> this is why you don't, do just a standard over, 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 because eventually a twist gets in the cable. All right, so let me demonstrate the technique again, starting with a, a small coil in my hand, and then I'm gonna lay it all out on the table to show that we're not putting any twists in the cable. So I'm gonna put it open coil, and then close coil, or over, under, right? Just making sure it's good there. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So the cable is now, you know, I'm building up a stack here, over, under, over, under. I'm just gonna to toss some of this off. So I'm gonna go maybe, let's go this way. And then I'll throw some of this off this way and hopefully it won't slide off the desk here. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now take this, this coil that we've built I'm gonna spread it out. And what we should see is that there's no kinks in it, and there's also no twisting of the cable overall. So we have a positive and a negative coil, or an over and an under coil, 
And as I spread them out, we'll see that we've actually created a way in this coil of just wrapping up the cable neatly into one big snake that when pulled tightly has no twists in it whatsoever. Okay, now that I've got everything kind of laid out here, I've just taken that coil, spread it out, haven't changed anything, let's look at the loops here. So the incoming coil, I have an under, it's underneath and then the top is over. Then on the next coil, it's over and the outgoing is under. So under, over, under, over, under, over, and then under again. But check this out. So with, with all these loops in that proper order spread out, we can demonstrate that we just have one positive and one negative twist and over and under the whole way through. So I'm gonna take this here, watch this. We'll see if the cable behaves. It might fall off the edge of the table here, but so over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then and that would just go on forever. And what you can see is the cable is laying flat here. There's no twist in the cable. Sure, there's a little arc to it, but when we pull this thing tight, all of those are gonna go away. And that's exactly what we want. That's why this is the right way to wrap a cable because there's no damage to the internal structure of the cable that all of the good stuff goes through. We're gonna pull this thing tight here. And you can see it just falls off and turns into a cable with no twists in it. So in the next part of this demonstration, let me see how the cable wants to twist here like that. And if you ever do get a weird looking coil, if it's, say you, you've got something like this and you just, there's an extra little loop in there and it's just funky and it's not working out, just drop that cable, drop that loop, and then just start over. So kind of push the twist out of the cable. If there's, if there's a problem downhill, downstream, just kind of push it out of the cable and worry about the coil that you're working on. So under, over, under, over. And by the time you're done, you end up with a properly wrapped cable. The one gotcha with a properly wrapped cable is that you need to make sure that your ends are coming off the right sides. So we've stacked this cable again from left to right. And when I undo it here, I wanna make sure that, so I open this up, that this end does not go through to the other side. If that happens, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull that through, I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna start pulling cable through and it's gonna come off. It's gonna, it's gonna be all right here, but look what happens. I get a knot. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna keep pulling. And I've got another knot. I'm gonna keep pulling, keep pulling, and I've got another knot. And so some people don't want to use the over-under technique because they say, hey, it can lead to a bunch of messes, it can lead to knots. Let's not do that. But if you ever get in this situation, just stop what you're doing, find the end. and just undo a knot or two and you're good to go. So I'm gonna take this end, I'm gonna take that end and I'm just gonna feed it back through, feed it back through the hole. So if you have like 20 knots, you can just take this end, fish it up all the knots and then pull that end through and then pull that end through to make it, make it good. Then take the coil, pick the whole thing up and just pull that end through the coil. Now everything will just properly pay out. It's not worth destroying your cables and not wrapping them properly because you're afraid of knots. So just make sure that it's stacked from left to right. So I'm going over, under, over, under. And you can see it's gonna be great. You're gonna have a very happy cable in the end. If you're looking for more live production tips and tricks like what you've seen today, check out our website at pavement.media. There we have a full course called The Fundamentals of Live Production, where we teach the fundamentals of live production. Things that everyone needs to know regardless of the equipment that they're using. Things that are applicable to every team of any size. Fundamentals that do not change over time. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And if you wanna see a free lesson, just go over to our website, sign up for the free lesson, and you can have access to the course immediately. So again, thanks for watching. I'm Carl Larson. I love doing this with you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.